we're gonna use the Mazzani Thorough Smooth Heat Protecting today. Also, the Chi Leave In Curtain Mist. And lastly, we're gonna use the Tracy Ellis Raw Serum. And these are the three products that we're gonna be using to do this blowout. Okay, guys, this is the blow dryer that I'm gonna be using for this blowout. This is the Bed Hair Blow Dryer, and I bought this off the of Amazon for only $35. So let's see if this bad boy works. I'm going to be using the high setting. It comes with like high settings. So I'm going to be using the high setting. And as you guys seen in the previous clip that I already put my heat protector in. Um, two heat protectors and one serum. And before that I did put a little bit of leave, like a cream leave-in conditioner. The Cal's Daughter one. And a little bit of oil just because my hair is dyed and I needed to retain moisture so that's why I did that so let's see if this works good with the products that I put in my hair so um I'm gonna get to blow drying okay so with this type of blow dryer it is very important that you detangle each section of your hair before you start to blow dry now as you guys can see I'm about to start blow drying and you just glide the brush throughout the hair until it's dry or until you feel like you have your desired look and it's this is definitely so much easier than using a blow dryer with a like round brush because you just have this all in one device Okay guys, as you can see, this is the first section and it is hard to get to the roots of the hair. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow dry the rest of my hair and then I'm gonna go again and try to get the roots a little bit more. But as you guys can see, this is like, a, this is really good. Like for just a blow dryer and that only took me like two minutes, so. Each session is gonna take about two minutes to do. So you're you're blow drying your hair like in under an hour. And it's this straight. Like this is really good. So my hair definitely feels soft. It has a nice shine to it. So I'm going to fast forward the this part, like the back part, I'm gonna fast forward and then I'm gonna do the front part in real time. But this one session took about two minutes to do, so yeah, I'm gonna get back.
I'll let you guys watch and yes, please continue to watch the video guys. Thank you. Okay guys, I'm done with the back of my head. Um, this is the back of my hair is finished. I feel like it's only 258. I started at 222, so that's not that bad. And I stopped in between. So yeah guys, so this is the back of my hair. I feel like for a just a blow dryer, this is really straight, like one my hair is not heat trained secondly i have no like relaxer or texturizer or um like a semi perm in my hair i'm strictly 100 percent natural besides dyeing my hair and this is how straight it came out which is really good for just uh, blowing out now as you guys can see like i'm blow drying this way and i'm blow drying like under you kind of have to um you kind of have to do it like on top of it so it can hit the roots so if you don't want to put too much heat in your hair just blow dry it this way and it will get straighter way faster and you don't have to keep going over to get the roots of, of the hair so and this I only have two sections left so in the front I'm just gonna blow dry this way to see what happens so yeah guys stay tuned and I am using the high heat so I think like if you use low heat it will get like if you don't want your hair to get like this straight just use low heat and you should be fine um yeah so I'm gonna continue doing my hair and you guys can watch me so now i'm done blow drying my hair it is now almost 3 30 so i think not bad like for the time definitely not that bad i think it took me maybe maybe an hour maybe an hour but it's because i'm filming so i'm stopping and i'm filming at the same time 
um so this is the final results off of just blow drying my hair on high heat and now i'm about to go over one more time with cool air just to lock it in i'm gonna put it on cool and i'm just gonna brush real fast So I just went over to um cool off my hair and this is um <coughs> sorry <coughs> cooling the blow dryer on cool air helps like your scalp not get sweaty helps your hair not sweat out and it also helps block in the moisture I think and I remember when I was a kid when I used to go to hair salon they always used to like cool it with the blow dryer so yeah so we're done blow drying our hair it shouldn't take unless you have like really long hair or super thick hair it's probably not going to take you no more than an hour just to blow dry it um if i had hot rollers or just rollers in general i would roll up my hair but because i don't have any rollers i'm going to do bantu knots to get a curl because i don't want it to be just like this i kind of want like a little curl up like a little body i mean like i don't want to leave it like this because i'm not flat ironing it so this is all i'm doing okay guys so this is the final look um i did bend two knots so it created like a wand type of curl which is cute um i totally think this came out so good and so cute and mind you my hair is only below dry no other heat in it no curling iron, no flat iron, just straight blow dryer. I think this came out super cute. I left the pan two nights in for about 20 to 30 minutes. So this is the hole that it has, which is not really that bad. Um, I definitely want to try this with hot rollers and, and maybe cut my hair into some layers with the blow dryer. I think that would be so cute. So guys, I think this is so cute and this is like if you really um I feel like your hair can get even straighter if you use like maybe I think I'm gonna try the sheet infusion silk infusion because I think that can get my hair really straight or if you like do this like four times or something your heat your hair will probably get used to the heat and it will get straighter even more but I think this came out so cute Oh my god, this kind of so cute for like just a blowout. Oh my god. So yeah guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys like the video. Please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And of course, as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. And of course, peace, love, and happiness. And it is holiday season, so I hope you guys enjoy your time with your friends and your family and just enjoy your life guys and thank you guys so much for watching the video and i'll see you in the next video see you later guys